All right, what can you show me? I'm ready. Mm, so I gotta be a bit more careful with Bulwark's strength. I think I need the others to do some damage first. Hmm. I think this is probably a good place to start. Knock off some armor here. Strength. Still need a kill with this guy. He only has that useless insult skill, though, huh? So that's two willpower runes, one armor break rune. Alright, so now I'll just go invisible. Call the week this one, but that's not gonna impress anyone because I need three in a row. All right, that's some wasted turns right there. That's good. Um, I think what I'll do is continue knocking off armor here. I mean, I would do the Axe Storm, but I'm kind of afraid of actually killing him. And I want him alive for Bulwark to cull. So that's 13 now, that's 13, nice. Whose turn is it next? This guy's turn, that's fine. And it's this guy's turn. Um, who might attack Folka or try and go here, which would be nice, because then it, his turn would be wasted. It's this guy's turn, then it's this guy's turn. Just thinking who I should... I think I should insult him. And I think this going here is enough. How much stupidity? Alright. She still needs to kill dudes. But I think the runic gale is more important right now. Get those buffs going. So is that some willpower, armor, armor break? Not bad. Um, right. Call the weak, call the weak. Mm, maybe I should just kill this one. So, this does work. What am I at? 8 willpower. And I can kill him. No, I can't. Wait, what am I even doing? Because he has 12 strength. But I can do uh, 10 damage at once, which is what I'm trying to do. So getting him to 2, I think, is actually good. All right. Come at me, bro. Right, so now that's 13, that's 13. Um, mm, 
and I can prepare him here. Like, if I do four, he'll be down to four armor and nine. That's exactly 13, which means I'll kill him. Oh, fuck it. Bear Rage, counter attacks plus lowers arm. No. Well, then I can't do anything, actually. Hmm. Oh wait, if I go here with her, next turn Bulwark can kill that one, kill that one, and actually go here and kill that one, right? If I do a little bit of armor damage to him, that is, that should be enough. No, don't start doing strength damage to Bulwark. That's not what you want. All right. Could do 7 damage here to make that Cull the Weak a bit easier. No, don't go away! Can't have that. Right, so... Next... Yeah, this is fine. Um, I don't want it to be this guy's turn, I think, because I don't want him to run away. So I'll insult this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's fine. And it's gonna be this guy's turn. And this guy, then... This guy. I hope he doesn't run away. And she... Can... Should we mend someone? Do we need to... We could mend... Oh yeah, for sure. We'll mend her. That's better, yeah. Okay, this is going slightly better. Mm, so, call the weak this one, call the weak this one, and then we can walk here, call the weak that one. Righto. Mm, I think I'll just go incognito again. He does have enough left, I think. Okay, so now. I'll walk here. Because Call of the Week means no second attack, right? Uh, I can do the level 1, that's enough. Now I can go here. Call of the Week Level 1 is enough, because I have 13 strength minus 2 is 11, which is enough. And now the third one. I need a Cull the Weak. Level 2 though. To make the full f 13 damage, and there we did it. Okay. Um, so now I can kill someone else. Also, Wart Warhorn level 5 is a thing. Okay. Um, can I call the weak anyone else? That's 15, that's... Ah, uh, that's all too much. I think. I could just straight away kill someone, though. Well, that depends who I hit for the second hit. But there, there we go. Alright, that went better. Um, now they're starting to attack Bulwark's strength, of course, but that's still fine. I need to use the Warhorn still. Also, I need kills on this guy and her. So I guess just doing strength damage for now is a good idea. Let's give her a bit of extra damage. Oh, I didn't want that crit. Oh, fucking RNG. I don't want kills on him. I want the kills on Spar and the Valka. Right. So he and his 9 strength can't do much now, huh? How much bait does he have? One. 
Mm, I could insult her or... Oh, that's a strength 17 guy. Can he reach anything? Yeah, he can actually reach her. But he could also reach him and could do a significant amount of damage. I don't think I can reach him, though. Wait a second. How much range does this have, though? One, two, three, four, huh? I go here. That's one, two, three, four. Do, do, do. No, I can't reach him. Fuck. That's a bit annoying. He'll hit him pretty hard. No, oh, let's insult her or something. Scum. Scum indeed. Right, no. no, no, no. Okay. The Valka. I mean, we're just gonna get some runes going again. Oh, that's a lot of strength runes. Look at that. Which turn is it his? I mean, I could. With two strength runes, I could just kill him, huh? I think. Yeah. Oh no! The damage. I mean, there's a couple of slightly... Dangerous ones left. I think if we do this though... Seven, if we had four, we'll actually start doing strength damage to him. And there was a crit, nice, so he's at 11 now. Mmm, Fulka. Alright, I still want kills on... on her and him. So eight there. How much exertion does Spa have? Three? So, wait, he can't, he can reach him, but then he'd need five willpower to make it happen. He currently has two. We need to kill someone with Ollie. Mm. No, wait, he currently has two. We could give him three with a horn. That's perfect, actually. So we just need to get this armor down to zero. Correct? Let's do this. Maybe this will kill her. Right. Yeah, more willpower for everyone. Right, so now he can get that kill. Wait! They told me he has three exertion. Oh, never mind then. Oh god. Need to take care of this guy. Hmm... Nothing really for her to do except run away. Ah, <laughs> oh, that sundering impact. Yeah, I think we'll just move him away now, though, because. He's done his job. Right. So she could do some bad. I guess what we want to do is... I actually want to try the shield smash. How much does it do? Four? That's pretty bad. Now he's just trying to take her out. Okay. storm here a little bit. Ah. 
Alright, so he could get one kill here. I don't know if he had any before. How long it will take for this achievement to pop. Well, it'll need at least one more, it seems. No, don't lower his strength damage. the third one. Let's just rest with the others. Do one more. Armor damage. And he can do the rest. That should give us the achievement for Spado. Yep, one draft. Also Holfi's training, plus 15. Kill the weak. Warhorn, plus 10 damage hit. Defeat all enemies. 10 plus damage hit, I mean. Wonder Achievement, Hofi's Training. Uh, so I guess the Renown is all packed into the end Renown result here, right? We don't get anything on top of that for the achievements there, calculated. Um, to become part of the end result here. Alright, so that's 46 uh, Renown, which means a bit of upgrading. Um, um, um. Oh fuck, Folk, I didn't get any kills. Well, yeah, I try to get everyone to else to, um, to get some kills, right? Should I actually promote her? I mean, I still need to do that. Uh, kill some people with her. Also, Breeze, the Mender Grounds, one or more allies, the speed of the North Wind. Allowing them to move to any unoccupied tile on the battlefield for one turn. Oh. Because it greatly adds to movement. The magic can also allow a hero to take a much longer route to a tile than otherwise. What? Because it greatly adds to movement. The magic can also allow a hero to take much longer route. Take a much longer route to a tile that than would otherwise be possible. I don't know exactly what that means. I mean it's probably good for getting can we combine that to give someone plus movement so they can go like through all our runes? I guess. Also, I wanted to get uh, to, to eight strength. And, um, and probably also 10 armor as soon as possible. As a Valka, Zephyr is a member of the highest order of the spell weaving menders and sworn to uphold the secrets of their sect. However, she's willing to re reveal much of what she knows in order to save the lives of those in her custody. All right. Hmm. So other than that, I just, I mean, 20 out of 19, I could upgrade him to 8. What would that get me, though? Could upgrade his armor a little bit. And then maybe his crits. I mean... Alright, let's get him to level 10. Whatever. Let's upgrade his crits first. No, not robust. Archery strike. Why can't I do this? Yeah. Like many roamers, Ditch silently appeared in Bindal one day without explanation. He works hard and keeps to himself, but there is a history in his eyes, a reason for his awkwardness, perhaps a past he hopes to forget. Hmm. Okay. So we can get Spa out now. Thank God. Because he has his kills. Mm, either good Mundru or Oli actually. Do want to upgrade Oli? 
I mean, his extras can come in handy in a ditch. Yeah, but I won't upgrade him for now. I want to keep that till I have uh, at least a second one at level 10. Um, heroes training, rest. Do we want to rest? I think we just want to go. A large group of clansmen from Bindal have stopped. Gasps and whispers among them. What's the problem now, you ask? Breaking into their circle and finding a couple protectively holding a bundled baby. It's a curse, an omen, an old man says. The child's been replaced, changed. Never seen anything like it. You wouldn't know a thing about this Val, but they do. Points at the couple of others. He points at the couple and others nod. A few women holding their children together. Tighter. Maybe the darkness did it. Maybe they have dark secrets. It's a sad, hard thing to accept. But either the babe dies, or we all suffer fiercely. Show me the kid. The father had the hesitates before pulling the swaddling open. Your experience with human children is minimal, but this looks just like any other baby. Look at the head, someone shouts. You lean down and see... Feathers? Over the ears, small tufts of pale down feathers, the kind you remember seeing on the neck and under the wings of eye rings. It's an omen. It's a good one. No one harms the child. The mother starts weeping and thanking you. Little Hrokker, you mumble. And the father smiles. That's what I call him, he says. Maybe the gods aren't. You walk off before you can finish. Alright, no change. Oh, is that a godstone? And then a large drop. How do we get down there then? We'll see. We'll see. Also, supplies are getting low. But we have enough clansmen to forage, usually. No. I always respected Big Lighter the Builder. But if he made those caves we went through, I'll... Well, I'd have killed him myself. That's an interesting godstone. You knaves watch your step around these cans, sparse as hacking. Many a foolish pilgrim have given their life at the base of this frozen cliff. And don't try working one of these stones free either, or you'll bring the whole damn thing down on us. He glares at Ollie, who pulls his hands away from the stone quickly. Pieces of Bigelair's godstone, put together without mortar or daub, represent the mastery of the god's own skill. In life, he traveled the land, laying the world's cavernous foundations and raising mountains. He was never regarded by the other gods with a, many, with a wary respect. He was ever regarded by the other gods with a very respect. For one who knows how to put things together will also know how to take them apart. The sound of snickering. The sound of snickering draws your attention. You see some kids grabbing stones from other cans to build a new one of their own. <laughs> Knock theirs over and run them off. Wow. Grab a stone and toss it to them to add. The stone you pick is bigger than anything they're using, but they're amazed that you contribute it. The kids find a way to support its weight on top of all theirs, laughing and chasing each other away when it's all finished. Morale improved. An uneasy feeling washes over you and you scan the ravens, clansmen and bellowers cart for any threat. Blood axe spars says in a tone stripped of all humor. My eyes are too old to trust what I'm seeing down there. You follow his gaze and growl. On the distant fields below is a mass of dredge, too numerous to count. Waves of them are pouring over hills, though they don't move like an attacking force. There's a banner among them, Fokker says near you, but I can't make out the rest. You wave off her command and roar command. Move! Big Lara, Big Lara Godstone. Yeah, so let's see how we get down that, that precipice.
Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, just are pouring over those hills like ants. Also, three days. We need our clansmen to forage soon. Yeah, six days. That's better. Several ravens report a large hole in the ground nearby. There's strange marks all around it. One says, "Some look fresh. Others, well, others look like they've been, they've been there as long as the mountains." Spa looks up. This hole, this hole of smooth sides, about as deep as a valley asks. The men nod and Spa grunts. Um. What's in the hole? We couldn't tell, a scout says. No trees around, just a deep hole in the ground about your f about four yoks length across. My arms were like chicken skin just looking at it. Let's have a look at it, you craven. No sooner has the word left your mouth than you see Foka look at you. Are you trying to be funny, craven and raven? You ignore her and head for the hole. It's as described. Big, deep, surrounded by scrawlings in the surrounding rock, and a disturbing. Don't <laughs> toss the scout in to see what he finds. The man yelps as he falls into the hole with a pleasing thud. He spits out dirt, swears loudly, and starts looking around. There's not a fan thing down here, he shouts. Just mud, rock, and... He stops and bends down. Everyone leans in, straining to see what he's pulling out of the ground. And more fan mud, he shouts, throwing two handfuls at others. Caught off guard, a couple of other men fall into the pit. The ravens start laughing and calling, calling for a fight. And for a moment, the world feels familiar again, unbroken. Oh, morale improved, that's good. The company comes upon a small village, the people still hard at work with only an occasional glance skyward to the approaching darkness. Poker sees a man chopping wood as she learned to do a lifetime ago. These people don't know what's coming. They'll figure it out soon enough, you say, and turn to the rest of the caravan. We get that we get what we need from this place and the rest if necessary and rest if necessary. Next few days will be the hardest and the last summer you will ever see. Poker gives you a look, look and you snort. Um I like the underlying soundscape here. Uh, gives a nice little feeling of impending doom. As you instruct a man to check the cartwheels and lock straps, you hear someone say, mm, Hello again. Turn quickly and see the man. Ditch, quiet as always, but wisely out of your immediate axe reach. What do you want? you ask. Well, just that I was scouting around this place, you know, Ditch says, and I went up on a hill to watch the dredge. The um, banner we saw, it's from Einartoft. Einartoft. You grimace as the town's name floods your mind with images. Giant bridge, hundreds of Val, either in your way, your anger focused just beyond him. Einartoft was sacked, the old war leader Krummer says. You'd better be as sure as crap stinks about what you saw, human. Didge nods quickly. Then I'm going after them, Krummer says. It's not a request. Hmm. I guess I'll join them? Stick with him, you growl to the few fighters you allow to join. If he's still as lucky as he claims, we'll grab the others and get back in one piece. So this means a fight, I reckon. And we need Krumer in there. Uh, let's get Ditch. Let's get um, Foka, of course. Let's get Zephyr. And Oli. Right. We don't have many items in this caravan. Something like this. 